Welcome back everybody. This is Spicy Chicken Spicy Boy with another Spicy Chicken Sandwich review. Today we are going to be taking it back to a classic. We've done a couple of newer menu items at some places and we're going to be taking a look at one that has been in the market and on people's minds and on their taste buds for quite a while. This is the Hardee's Spicy Chicken Sandwich. Now Depending on where you are, you might be thinking to yourself, spicy chicken, spicy boy, what the hell is a Hardee's? Well, if you're in other regions of the United States, you might know Hardee's as a Carl's Jr., which is what I was most familiar with. I now live in an area where it goes by Hardee's, but they are supposedly the same thing. So historically, I've actually eaten a lot of Carl's Jr. spicy chicken sandwiches. I lived across the street from one in uh, college, and at the time, the spicy chicken sandwich was probably the best thing I could get for 99 cents. This is more than 99 cents now, uh, but back in the day, you know, 99 cents, I might get two or three of these things. Probably had a few too many Carl's Jr. spicy chicken sandwiches, if I'm gonna be honest, and I haven't had one in quite some time. It's been a few years for sure. Um, you know, I don't want to let the nostalgia factor play too strong into my review because I did enjoy them, but maybe I just enjoyed them because I was broke and it was a spicy chicken sandwich I could get for like a dollar. So it's hard to say if it was true quality. Uh, as they say, hunger is the most delicious sauce. So that may have come into play with, with what I thought about them at the time. But this is a Hardee's spicy chicken sandwich. Uh, I can't tell you for sure if they actually are the same. I don't have a Carl's Jr. within hundreds of miles of where I am as far as I know. I actually had to travel across town to get this thing. There aren't that many Hardee's near where I live either. So, again, you know, the review is going to be based on construction, quality of the chicken, the spiciness, condiments, overall impression. And, uh, you know, let me know in the comments if this, it, well, if you are a Carl's Jr. or a Hardee's uh, eater, and if this is similar to the ones you find at Carl's Jr., or if it's different, I'd be really interested to know. So if you've had one of these at a Carl's Jr. and it just looks totally different to you, then I would uh, definitely be interested in hearing any differences down in the comments. So I'm going to try this out. We're going to take a quick look at it. We're going to see how she tastes and just give a little review, you know. So looking at the sandwich, we've got a sesame seed bun. One side of the sandwich is completely dry. Seems like they toasted the bun though, which I do appreciate. The other side of the sandwich, the bottom side, now this is not how I would normally construct a sandwich myself. I kind of go bread, main filling, and then do condiments and toppings. But we have got a reverse of your expectations here. Um, you know, kind of inverting what you might be thinking is going to happen. Throwing you for a loop a little bit. We've got lettuce and what appears to be mayonnaise on the bottom of the sandwich. Now, I only say bottom of the sandwich. In reality, you know, what's the difference? But I always put the sesame seeds on the top. That's, that's just how I do it. And I think that helps them not fall off the bun. But this Hardee's, you know... Got some Mavericks in here. Maybe uh, maybe that is a difference. A Carl's Jr. will put them on the top, and uh, Hardee's might put them on the bottom. Maybe that's a regional variation that that uh, you might come to expect. I don't know. Um, I'm going to take a bite here. So, again, it's just chicken, mayo, shredded iceberg lettuce, it looks like. Regular sesame seed bun.
Well, first impressions, compared to some of your other newer chicken sandwiches that seem to be uh, using a little higher quality chicken these days, some real chicken fillets, maybe a nice piece of chicken breast. This is a processed chicken patty. I would not call it a cut of chicken. It is a, shall we say, a conglomeration of chicken. Um, it's not the worst chicken patty I've ever had. Certainly not the best chicken patty I've ever had. There is some spice on there. I'm getting more of a more of a black pepper type of spice than maybe a hot chili style spice. Uh, there is, I mean, on a spice scale of like 10, I'm just got flames shooting out of my ears and a one being, you know, water, let's say. This, probably like a five. It's not super spicy. But there is a little bit of kick into it. That's why I had to take that extra bite. I wasn't getting it. Then it started to come. And there is there is some spice. Um, again, the toppings, you know, inoffensive. I would say that the lettuce seems freshly shredded. Uh, mayonnaise, I think, always goes well on a fried chicken sandwich of any kind. The bun... Totally fine. I do appreciate the toasting on the bun. That is something I would like to see more places do. If they could be toasting their buns, nothing's better than some toasty buns, you know? So, overall, it's not the highest quality of ingredients. And I would say the flavor is, is good enough. It's not blowing my mind in terms of spice or just like, wow, my taste buds are dancing. But it tastes pretty good. I mean, I can recall thinking it tasted pretty good back in the day. It really, it's fine. It tastes pretty good. I'm going to give it like a six and a half. You know, I think it's tasty enough that if you just want a chicken sandwich from a fast food place, this chicken sandwich can probably do you just fine. Um, spicy enough that the the interest level is peaked after a couple of bites. Um, and overall, I think it's just a, you know, to, to have a spicy chicken sandwich on your menu, this is, this is above the bare minimum of what you would need to do. This is checking a couple of boxes that make it inadequate spicy chicken sandwich. Um, you know, the winds of chicken have been blowing me all over the place and I, I had to go farther to get this spicy chicken sandwich than I was thinking. You know, there's a couple other fast food places that I'm going to try, but I am interested in getting people's input on where some spicy chicken sandwiches might be lurking in the shadows, in the alleys, in the basements of the world. And I would love to hear from you guys down in the comments where... Some of those spicy chicken sandwiches might be peeking around some corners at me. So let me know in the comments. Subscribe if you want to see some more spicy chicken sandwich reviews. And uh, that's it, you know. I'll catch you next time with another spicy chicken review. And keep it spicy, folks.